I'm Sarah Wagstaff and I'm the head coach of our Women's Division 1 National League team and also our under 18 women. I think I've always had a passion for teaching and coaching and I think back to when I was in primary school when I first ever started playing netball as it was at the time um, and I always loved you know, teaching with my brothers and things and then I moved to secondary school and I was just so inspired by my PE teachers that I then realised that actually I wanted to, to coach. I think back to my secondary school teachers and if it wasn't for Tara Allen at the time, I wouldn't have been involved in the sport, so she was my secondary school PE teacher. And also Steve Morritt was really influential. Um, and then when I came to Cardiff Met, the obvious, the obvious one is Damien Jennings. Um, he's been so influential on me and my career, even up until now, so I have a lot of time and respect for Damien and I'm really thankful for, for him and, and uh, yeah, all the support he's offered me and have learned so much from him, so I'd say yeah, Damien mainly. I find it hard to kind of pinpoint a philosophy. Um, I think the biggest thing that I aim and aspire to do is to make sure I create an environment where all my players are enjoying themselves and having fun, and and you know they want to they want to keep coming back. Um, I think you know I've been really lucky in my basketball career to still be involved in a playing capacity, and that's what I want for the young females that I work with. You know they, they don't just have to finish playing after they finish university; they could really have a long, successful career ahead of them. And I think. What I try to encourage now um, in my environment, and I guess it could be part of my philosophy, is that players enjoy themselves and they love what they do. I think that's the main, the main thing for me. I think in the environment that I create, so I make sure that you know when we come together that we enjoy the environment, we enjoy each other's company, so I'll make sure that um, players will get to know each other individually, they don't just work with the same people all the time. I want them to enjoy the practice so you know the content of what I'm delivering has to be fun. Um, I don't believe in having training sessions that aren't enjoyable so I think that for me is key like the content of sessions um, and yeah I think building those relationships with individuals is what is what helps the, the, the collective environment if they can trust me trust each other um, know they have someone that cares then that in itself I think is is a great recipe for players knowing that you know they're in an environment they want to be in. We were really lucky, for example, last year where we won every game, we were 10-0 in the league and I didn't need to give inspirational quotes or inspirational stories because the girls worked hard and they were having fun and they were enjoying it, but we were in a situation where we were winning, so that was an easier situation. I think back to 2008-9, when before I went away and I was coaching the Division 2 team then, and we were bottom of the league, we hadn't won games, and we were, um, yeah, we'd come up every week we were losing, so it was a quite a tough environment to be in. But I remember a, p a particular time out, I think it was, and we were actually down by, I think it was down by one to top of the league. And I drew this infamous sideline play that we, we still run, <laughs> um, where it involved a back screen and a lob pass. And we actually had the opportunity to take this layup, which is a real high percentage uh, score. Um, so we had the opportunity but we missed it and we actually lost by one. So we could have beaten top of the league based on that one um, out of time out play. Uh, and we didn't, but I, I think it just goes to show that it doesn't matter um, kind of, you know, if you're down, if you're losing, you know, we can be competitive and I think that's what I've always enjoyed with the, the teams I've worked with. Coaching is about people, it's about especially in our team sport, which I absolutely love. I'm not sure I'd be any good if I was working on my own as an individual athlete. Um, but yeah, for me, it's about people, building relationships, um, building lifelong friendships. I've been so lucky and the majority of my closest friends have all been teammates of mine. So for me, coaching is about, it really is about people. So I think for me, it gives me something that I love doing, that I really enjoy, it gives me purpose. Um, I think lockdown and Having our season cut short really showed me how much I love it being part of my, my daily routine and part of my schedule. Um, but yeah, it just gives me another second family, like away from away from my own family and away from home that you know I'm committed to and I, I love being around. <laughs>